Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I apologise for no video yesterday, but um, I started my new medication and it wiped me out. Um, I had the worst headache that I've had in a very long time. Um, so I went for a lie down. I slept for nearly four hours. Um, and then when I woke up, I felt so unbelievably sick. Um, so yesterday was, it was a bad day. <laughs> uh, today, loads better. Um, I've got a bit of a headache now. Um, but I'm not sure if that's just because I'm a bit dehydrated. Um, I'll fill you all in in just a minute. Let's get over the you know showing you what i've done and the wheel spin and then we'll crack on and i'll tell you all about it so the wheel spinner two days ago chose free choice so i chose the magic cabin winter so i've been working on this one okay so you're not going to be able to tell really a lot of what i've done but I have done all of this down here, where you see these blue lines, I've done all that. Where you see the red, I have done all that. Where you see this bluey colour, done that. All this grey here, I have done that. More red there, more red there. Um, some more over here, and then some of the blue over here. So I have done a little bit. You can see better from the other side how much I've done. So, yeah, um, I enjoy working on this one. It is only little. It's a very lightweight canvas. Um, so, yeah, I do enjoy working on this. But I have worked on this now for two days. So, if it comes up uh, on the wheel spin, then I will be choose I'll be spinning again to choose something else. Okay, let's have a look here. And see what we're gonna see what we're gonna work on while I tell you all about my god awful day on Monday. Oh, now we've got an ad. I can skip it, so it's okay. Skip. Skip. I said. Skip. Thank you. Right, September. There we go. And let's see what we're going to work on. We're going back to Dream House. <laughs> Next time I get free choice, I'm picking Wonderland because we haven't worked on that at all. Um, right, I'll get this sorted, guys, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I've got Dream House all set up. So this is Dream House. I do enjoy working on this, even though the canvas is... Oh, no. It, I suppose it's getting better. It was quite thick, but I suppose it's getting better now because more I'm working with it. Um, yeah. And we're working over here in this blue area. Uh, we're working in with this darker blue at the top here for the time being. And I've rolled it all up and I didn't see what DMC colour it was. So let me have a look. It is 828. That's the DMC number. And it's like a, a grey blue. Um, and it is this orange symbol here. This is where I left off. So I'm just going to continue on. This might be a bit flippy floppy all over the place because I've rolled it up. And yeah, hopefully we'll be okay. So, how is everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, okay, so take it everyone's really, really... Oh, God. 
I've rolled it up too far. With these heavier ones, the closer to you you roll it up, the harder it gets to hold on to. So let's undo it a little bit and then clip it back together. I'll get on there. Sorry folks, I'll be right with you. Right, hopefully this will be a bit easier now because I can rest it on my arm. There we go. Oh, get yeah, back in there. Thank you. So, yeah, everybody is going to be wanting to know what happened on Monday. What a mess. <sighs> Honestly, right. So, my appointment was at the hospital for... <clears throat> 10 o'clock I got there about 10 to um, just sat in the waiting area waiting to be seen um, then the consultant uh, came and called me through so I went through and he says oh I've got some medical students with me is that okay and I said of course it is I said you know they have to learn somewhere don't they I said it's fine yeah I wouldn't have said it was fine if I'd have known then what was going to happen so i go in the room i sit down and then you know he asks me my details to make sure it's me um and he says so you know what what's been happening so i explained from sort of start up to present day what was going on with my hand um so we um he had a look at the x-rays that i'd done and he was talking the medical students through the x-rays. He had a look at the MRI that I had done. And he was talking the medical students through the MRI. Um, you know, that's fine. I haven't got a problem with that at all. Not at all. Um, and then he said, then he sort of said, wanted to examine my hand. I said, that's fine. I said, but there are parts of it that are really painful when you touch them. So... He started messing about first off with this knuckle, which has now ended up slightly bruised. After all, five of the people in the room had messed with it. Um, so, yeah, they were all feeling that. And then he went and he, he was feeling the knuckle on another hand and he was I nearly at the ceiling. Wow, that hurt. Um... So, yeah, while he was doing all of that, he was still talking to the medical students and he, he said to me, he says, right, okay, he says, I know what it is. Um, it's rheumatoid arth arthritis, but it is quite bad. Um, it's affecting the bones in my hand. Um, it has now also travelled to my wrist, which they picked up on the MRI. And he said he could feel, you know, he knows what he's feeling for, doesn't he? He said he could feel it. Um, so, yeah, that's great. So then he's talking me through rheumatoid arthritis and all of this. And I'm thinking, oh, it's not, it's not that bad, you know, Loads of people have rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah, it's bad. It's 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 definitely not a good thing. Um, he wants to attack mine quite aggressively um, because my rheumatoid factor is so high. The autoimmune factor is so high. Um, so he's putting me on um, two new medications. One of them that I can't pronounce, it's this. I, I, yeah, I couldn't even begin to pronounce that. Um, that one has quite a few side effects, shall we say. Um, <clears throat> it, uh, there's lots of things I have to look out for, um, it can change my eye colour. If that happens, I have to see an optician straight away, stop taking the medication and contact the rheumatology team. <coughs> I am going to be assigned my own nurse. 
that will be my point of contact um, at the hospital with the with the team. Um, so yeah, there's the eye colour. Uh, this medication can make my hair fall out. Um, it can change my hair colour. Um, what else is there? There's like hysterical laughing, hysterical crying for no apparent reason, you know. Um, and then there's um, severe anxiety. I've already got severe anxiety, so yeah, why not just make it worse? Um depression already have that so yeah go ahead make that worse too um and then there's um like suicidal thoughts and ideations and it's it honestly it's headaches dizziness nausea sickness diarrhea um what else is there? Oh, there's the, the list is endless. I actually gave the, the leaflet to my son and I told him to read it. And I said, just keep your eye on mum. Um, you know, because I might not necessarily notice, especially the, the mental health side of things, I might not actually notice that this is happening. So, yeah, he's he's read that. He knows what to look for. Um, so that's that's good. You know, I've made my daughter aware and I've made my parents aware that they need to look out for these things. That's just that medication, by the way. The other one? Wow. I can't go on that straight away because it's like right up there with the big boy medication. Let's put it that way, the big girl medication, I should say. It's, yeah, they're not messing. When he said he wanted to attack this aggressively, he was not messing. Um, the other medication, I can't start yet. I had to have a load of tests done before I could be given this medication. Um, I had to have a chest x-ray. I had to have an x-ray of my pelvis. I had to have x-rays of both hands. I've had to have blood tests for all the hepatitises, uh, HIV. AIDS, um, I've got a full blood count check, um, any infection you can think of or illness inside your body, they are, they, they're checking for because you can't start this medication unless they know about everything. <clears throat> Honestly, it's ridiculous. Um, so I've had all to add six vials of blood taken from me um so that was probably why i felt a bit off yesterday as well um yeah i had six vials of blood taken from me um i had the x-rays done um it's it's not going to be a very pleasant i mean it, because I already have a condition with my liver, I have a, a problem, an illness in, with, that affects my liver called FNH. Um, that's focal nodular hepatic hyperplasia. Uh, basically, it, it causes like benign tumours to grow on my liver. Um, I do have quite a large one on there that has its own blood supply, etc, etc. Um, so normally, you know, if you guys have ever dealt with liver when you're cooking and things like that, um, your liver is smooth, mine isn't, mine's all bumpy and all that sort of jazz. So I already have a liver condition. So I have to have blood tests every two weeks. Once I start this new one, I have to have blood tests every two weeks to check my liver function, to check my full blood count, um, to check my kidney function, um, to check anything going on with my heart, Um it sounds to me like this medication is dangerous stuff. And I only take it once a week. So that's telling me it's serious stuff. It's serious medication. Um, so, yeah, uh, I can't start that yet until all those test results have come back. 
and then this nurse that's um you know going to be assigned to me she will contact me i'll go in and see her we'll have a chat about all the medications and things and what to do what not to do and you know i can't drink ever again now drinking is out for me alcohol um I mean, I don't, I don't really drink anyway. Maybe a drink at Christmas, New Year, something like that. But now, because I already have a liver issue, this medication can cause liver issues. So obviously, alcohol affects the liver. Therefore, drinking is out for me. No alcohol for Shelby. That doesn't bother me, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, it's uh, serious stuff, folks. You think rheumatoid arthritis and you think, you know, it's not too bad. Loads of people have it. You know, it, it's a common thing. You don't realise it's actually an autoimmune disease. Um, so now I have to, I have to have an eye test every single year. Um... To check that one of these medications isn't causing an issue with my eyes. Um, so I have to have that every year. Um, I am now considered immunocompromised. Therefore, I am susceptible to picking things up really easily. So if I am in um, like a, a really in an enclosed, crowded space, I have to wear a mask. I have to carry hand sanitizer with me. Um, and sanitise my hands all the time, um, you know, when I'm out, that is, not when I'm just at home. Um, I can't be around anybody that has any kind of illness, even if it's just a cold, because to me, that could be so much worse. I have to go to the doctors and have a pneumonia injection against pneumonia. I have to have yearly flu injections um, I can't have any live virus injections. I have to contact my um, team nurse and she will advise me what I can and can't do as regards live vaccines. Uh, honestly, it's just, yeah, it, it was a lot, a lot to process, a lot to take in. Um, I fought back the tears a couple of times. Because I was just thinking, well, this changes my life now. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, you know, and I've explained everything to this guy that I started seeing. And, you know, he's like, well, I don't get ill very often anyway. He's like, it's very rare I get poorly. He says, but obviously I'm going to have to be doubly careful now. I said, well, if you want to spend any time around me, then yeah, you are. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One of them things. Um, you know, it's like my son. Um, I told him if he brings anything home from school, he's going to have to stay away from me. Same with my daughter. If she picks anything up anywhere, she's going to have to stay away from me. Um, I can't. I can't risk picking any of these things up. My immune system is not working. It's not working to fight off any illness that comes my way. My immune system is fighting my body. My immune system is seeing me as a threat. So it's fighting my own, it's fighting its own body, you know. Um, so whenever I get ill, um, its attention isn't on the illness that's you know that's invading its space um it is concentrating on attacking me so yeah that's why i have to be so careful it's a good job i'm like agoraphobic anyway isn't it and i don't go anywhere really apart from shopping so yeah it's uh it's not a bad thing you know it's uh yeah one of them things So yeah, now you guys can understand why um, Monday was a no-no for me. Absolutely no. Um, and then yesterday, like I say, the, the medication just really, really, oh gosh, sorry, really wiped me out. 
made me feel poorly. I'm not too bad today. I've had a little bit of a nap. Um, I had loads of energy earlier on. Um, and I felt like I could do all the things. And then I did some of the things and I crashed. <laughs> so i gotta, I got to learn that just because it feels like I've got loads of energy doesn't mean I can do all of the things. Um, so, yeah, there we have it, folks. That's uh, that's what's going on with my hand. We have an answer. Um, oh, and I've got to see physiotherapy and occupational health as well. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. So, yeah, there we have it. That's where I'm up to. Um, he says I have got to keep sort of using my hand otherwise it will get stiff and you know make it worse so uh, obviously I'm still going to keep stitching and um you know I, I still have to do things around the house um even though sometimes it's really painful I mean my hand is quite sore today um you can see some bruising coming on the knuckles there um this happens sometimes and then obviously that knuckle there is quite um saw where he was messing about with it and then my wrist today is is sore as well so yeah it's um i don't know i'm just fit for the glue factory you know i've always wanted to be an organ donor i've always said to the kids if anything happens to me let the hospital take what they need i'm not going to need it when i'm gone um, you know, if I can help other people when I'm gone, then, you know, we'll let the hospital go for it. You know, let them take whatever they can. At this rate, there's going to be nothing worth taking. You know, um, yeah, so. I stopped stitching while I told you that story because otherwise I would have got all confused and, you know, all, uh, all flustered and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So there you go, folks. There's where I'm at. Oh, come on. So, yeah, it's uh, not all fun and games. It really isn't. But, you know, it's one of them things. I've got to deal with it and keep moving. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, I've got a really itchy nose. Yeah. So there we have it. So I hope everyone else's um, last couple of days has been a lot better than mine. <laughs> um. Yeah. Mum went for a dressing change today. And they've told her that they're really, really happy with how this wound is healing. Um, they're going on holiday on Saturday up to Scotland. And, uh, you know, she's just got to change, change the dressing herself a couple of times while she's away. Um, so, yeah, she's, uh, she's doing well. What on earth? Oh, I know what I've done. Goodness me. Honestly. Let me just fix this folks. I'll see if I can fix it. Basically what I've done is when I've <coughs> done. Because I've done half stitches. And you could probably be able to understand better if I show you. Move that over there. Well let me show you what I've done. So up here. Here, I have when making the second leg. I don't know if you can tell there, but I have actually crossed over two stitches instead of just the one. So, yeah, now I'm going to fix it. I'm literally just going to cross it as I normally would. So now, it, 
hang on let me see if i do that will it look really odd one second oh that actually looks better so i basically crossed them in individually over the top of that one that part where i uh crossed two sometimes that can happen when i'm rushing and not paying attention and all that sort of stuff um yeah oh, come on uh yeah so i'm getting a little bit of weakness as well um in my hand and my wrist um but that's to be expected So we'll just have to see what the uh, the coming few weeks say. What what you know what occurs there and what uh, what side effects I end up getting from this other medication and when I can start that. But uh, this one that I have already started can take anything up to twelve weeks to start working. So, you know, they did say you might not notice any difference for quite a while. <laughs> Great. So, yeah. Oh dear. So, yeah. It's, um, yeah, sorry, it's, it, it, it's on my mind all the time at the moment, you know, I'm, I'm still getting used to the news kind of thing and, you know, the changes that I have to make and, How careful I have to be. Um, yeah, I'm finding it difficult to sort of concentrate on anything. Like I was stitching for a bit last night and I had to keep putting it down and doing something else for a bit, you know, just looking on my phone or whatever because I literally just I couldn't concentrate. My, my head was all over the place, you know. My mind's going a million miles an hour and... Yeah. So, uh, hmm. Uh, so, <clears throat> we should have, or oh, fingers crossed, I'm hoping to have um, a review tomorrow for Outdoor Tide. Um, that's in this country it's past clearance and it's been handed over to my local depot so that should be coming tomorrow so fingers crossed we'll have a review tomorrow and then obviously we've still got biggest craft to come um but i think that's going to be the beginning of next week now maybe even a little bit no no beginning of next week should probably do it uh, I will also have another order with Biggest Craft coming, but that's an order that I've placed personally for my Halloween kits. Um, there are four Halloween kits and two Autumn kits. Um, so there will be six as per usual, because obviously I had to order six because I didn't have any of those. Um, so yeah, um those those um but i'm not gonna be doing an unbagging for that one because 
I want them to stay a surprise until, you know, last day of September when we do the September roundup. Um, obviously, I want you guys to see them then. Um, so I'm not going to be doing an unbagging. I will unbag them at home myself and I will have a look at them and make sure everything's okay and all that jazz. But, yeah, I am not going to be doing an unbagging video for them. Or maybe I will do an unbagging video, but I just won't upload it until um, maybe September 1st. Not September 1st. Oh, my goodness. September, last day of September. So instead of showing them on... Um, you know, the, the end of the roundup video like I did in August. Maybe I'll just do the September roundup and then I'll I'll then upload the unbagging video for those. I think that's going to be... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do an unbagging video, but you won't see it until the last day of September. So, yeah. Oh, can't wait for you guys to see them. They are awesome. These kits are amazing. They're fantastic. Fabulous. I really can't wait. You guys are going to love them. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to leave it there, folks, because I'm yawning my head off. Um, I need to get something to eat so I can take one of these tablets because I've got to take them with medication. With medication. With food. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to um, jump off and... Grab something to eat so I can take this tablet. Um, yeah. So, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for, you know, putting up with me droning on and not actually doing a great deal of stitching because I haven't. Uh, but like I say, concentration is like all over the place at the moment. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Those who stuck it out till the end. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, I also I, I, I appreciate you guys for sort of hanging around when there's been a few days here and there where I've not done a video uh, for whatever reason. Um, you know, I, I do appreciate you guys. All the support you give me is amazing. You know, I'm, I'm not just avoiding you. I'm not losing interest. It's nothing like that. It is purely a case of, you know, my health has to come first basically um and if i'm not feeling right then i'm not going to be paying it i'm not going to be able to do a video i'm not going to be able to concentrate enough to do one so yeah oh gosh thank you guys for sticking around and supporting me and all that stuff i really really do appreciate it so so much um so yeah um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for everything um yeah so anyway if you like this video um please do give it a like if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing um and if you can think of anyone else that might enjoy my videos i'm very down to earth i'm very you know life uh, i talk about life real life my life um you know yeah, so if you think somebody else might enjoy that kind of content while we stitch, then uh, please do give me a share. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, so until tomorrow, folks, um, take care of yourselves and each other. Okay, bye-bye.